Despite CryptoZoo or the forest or just generally being a POS, this might be the darkest Logan Paul allegation to date. So first I have to inform you on who George Janko is. George Janko is a, I guess, comedian, I say loosely, who was invited on to Logan's uh, podcast called Impulsive, where he shared a seat with Mike. I don't know Mike's last name. It's basically just Logan Paul's testicle jumped off and became its own person. But through confrontation, George Jenko left Impulsive and Logan Paul and started his own podcast. Just about a year later, George had Mike from Impulsive come onto his own new show, The George Jenko Show, where at first they had discussed some normal things that you do on a podcast like religion, struggling with your past, but eventually the topic of conversation shifted to why George left Impulsive. Now this was a very, very popular clip going around about a year ago of George just kind of storming off Impulsive, and it looked like he was a comedian that couldn't take a joke and that's what everybody including myself believed was that George was just this comedian that couldn't stand jokes. Now there was one interview they kept referencing as a kind of catalyst as to why George left Impulsive and this was the interview with Bobby Lee. I'll show you a clip here. Dad honestly because you know they knew my whole life. They know my decision making. If I, I'll go to my friends if I know I could get a good answer out of them but if I know it's just going to be like, oh, no, I just made the room uncomfortable. But for two years of my life recently was the hardest years of my life. I gained 40 pounds of weight. I, uh, I was really, honestly, if I was not Christian, I'd probably be suicidal. So for it's like, me, that's, are you done? <laughs> it was just a long monologue. He was just waiting. Was I, I was, I, let me just say something. I loved what you were saying. It was just very long. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that's yeah, usually yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. That's usually. But you know, I got what you're saying, and you really inspired me, George. <laughs> no, no. And, 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 can I say something? Comedians right? suck. No, 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 no. I, I hate comedians. No, I want, I want to say something. Sebastian <laughs> suck. Left me on red. Yeah, 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 yeah. You I, suck. Oh, First of all, don't touch me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do not okay, touch my me. Bad, my bad. <laughs> Thank you. All right, but um, yeah, we just need writers to edit that down. <laughs> Like, if we had a staff of writers, they'd be like, yeah, we'll cut that, cut that. But I'm sorry, essentially, it was a really good model. Usually, when I do my comedy, I don't have writers in the room. I actually write my own stuff. Okay, I can tell. I but, like um... <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I, in, in, my, in, my, in my sweet, like, friendly way, yeah. I, I thought I was doing such a good thing by lobbing the ball over you, there. Yeah, and yeah. And I just you wish... Said, you know what? I, sh I should have caught it. <laughs> when you lobbied the ball, I should have caught it and then, like, just thrown it back or something. No, but that was very good. It was, it was good. Now, already, before we get into anything too dicey, you can kind of see why George might already be in a bad state of mind in this interview. He's very pushed off to the side. Bobby is pretty much only talking to Logan and Mike, and I guess if I was in George's shoes in that chair, I would be pretty annoyed to be the third host of a podcast, and I'm kind of getting ignored. Well, it gets further than that, as George is talking about a very deep topic in his life, and he does, granted, it is a podcast, so it is a long form, you know, discussion. It's not, you know, short and snippy like a YouTube video. He does go on a bit of a monologue and talks about something very personal to him, which is then turned into demonizing and jokes about George. Now, I don't know too many people that wouldn't be annoyed with this right off the bat, but you know, sometimes you have a job to do. You know, you're the third host of a show. Just let it go. However, there is something much, much deeper that also happened within this interview. George says that he feels during this interview he was essayed by Bobby Lee. Obviously, trigger warning for what's coming up, but this will be talking about sexual assault, so so just keep that in mind as we move forward. No, no, I understand that, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I didn't just, sexually just, harass somebody, Mike. I'm not, listen, I'm not trying to, to die one to one. I'm just saying we, but you. Oh, okay, Mike, if, sure. if this was an episode that was you and what happened to you happened to you, and then the whole world thinks that I walked away because I can't take a joke, that's fucked. Well, right? well, I never had a problem with Bobby Lee. No, he knows. I that. had a problem with the way that Logan and you were kind of gassing him to keep doing. He started the episode putting his balls in my face. I let that one go. Then every two seconds, he kept grabbing my dick. I don't think. How would you feel I, if a man that I has his back completely towards you, that only turns around to grab your dick, right. talk shit to your face, and you can't smack or beat the living well, brakes off of well, this guy. So, so I, because Logan makes me apologize to this man, or I don't have a job on Impulsive anymore. How fucking crazy is that? I don't think I understood. I can only speak for myself. Bro, it's I not a group you, chat. I hope you can understand that. It's not a group that. chat. No, 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 I'm talking blank. about, no, I'm talking I'm about during, the, no, I'm talking about during the episode. Because, because there was, I didn't know that you were feeling But after uh, the episode, do you remember it. when you called me? And I said, Mike, this is all that ha happens, and you said, verbatim you said it's our fault for not telling you this but me and logan are really the ones who should be talking to the guests you are really there for a boys only episode so while i get sexual harassed 
My other co-host is trying to fire me, and you're trying to leverage me to be quiet during other guests. However, George here tells Mike, as they're reminiscing about what happened, that the SA was kind of being covered up. Now, I don't care who you are or what you're trying to, you know, brand yourself as with Logan Paul and Prime and whatever. You should not, under any circumstances, not only cut out, but also tell the victim that is in the room with you, that is your employee, to shut up about X, Y, and Z, especially when it deals with harassment or workplace place negligence we have numerous times on the show which i'm sure a number of shows do caught things that we believe will protect the integrity or reputation of the guest that protected nobody but him no, no, of the guests. That's, that's what I'm trying. Well, no, what about no, the no. guy that you break bread with, bro? Now, obviously, people are going to cut things out that don't fit with their brand and their podcast. I cut out things uh, of my mistakes all the time in my videos. But I would never have someone come over to my house, record a video with me, and then something happened to them and me just cut it and delete it and hide it from the internet. So I'm it's very like blessed, but I didn't know I was going to be here. <laughs> and, 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 can I say something? Me right? and suck. No, no, no. no. You I, suck. Oh, First of all, don't touch me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do no, not okay, touch my me. Bad, my bad. <laughs> Thank you. Or something. No, but that was very good. It was. It was good. I, I want the point is there. I, I, sure. Yeah. I, Listen, can I say something, okay? Jordan, I won't. All right, Jordan. He's so sad. Himself, bro. He gets a little further hey, back hey, every hey. time I look. He's, he was supporting. George, scoot up. He was yeah, not, now we're doing real. By the behavior that is shown in the episode, there is a lot of touching of both sides and they say, hey, don't touch me. And some of it seems like jokes, but some of it does very much seem serious. And yes, they are a room full of comedians, but no matter what, Logan Paul should have stopped it right there, made sure everybody was okay. Nobody was getting pushed in a direction they didn't want to be pushed in because as a host and a brand owner, that is your job to make sure everyone is getting treated fairly and nobody is pushing their boundaries. Strangely to me, when Mike and George are talking about it on George's podcast they very much so brush it aside and yes it could be something that George doesn't want to make a big case over or take to court or really discuss with the public which is his personal choice but to me if he did get SA'd it feels like he's not allowing himself to be a victim and it especially feels like Mike is just here to make excuses for Logan which isn't really a surprise I mean he's Logan's bitch boy anyways he always has been my focus of this video isn't whether or not it happened whether or not George wants to say that it happened or press charges for it happening, that is not my place to talk about. My focus of this video is that Logan Paul intentionally hid it from the world, cut out segments so that the public couldn't see it, and tried to silence the victim purposely to save his brand. This is showbiz, bro. Yeah. It's a fucked yeah, up, Yeah, you're right. I'm terrible terrible emotional. Place. I'm very emotional. No, I really no, and by that. the way, God bless you for it. These are quite literally two workplace violations called workplace retaliation and occupational harassment. Suppose it would be up to George to press any sort of charges or to pursue it further which here he makes a joke saying that he's got a team of lawyers that's going after Bobby Bobby said he did it and assaulted you and I saw it <laughs> and I'm first of all I am sorry for his behavior but Thank it's you. this is it's not it's not that crazy for a 51 year old to do that kind of stuff is especially it? not in Hollywood that's <laughs> yeah. a very common thing. that's kind of what those guys do <laughs> yeah, once yeah, they hit yeah. 50 they're gonna grab an Assyrian boy how do you boy. think I got in the seat <laughs> I know trust me I don't think this was at all any kind of serious especially because in the later interview with Mike he says that him and Bobby are fine and things are pretty patched up which I guess is a good thing it just really rubs me the wrong way of how heavy Mike is trying to shovel around the big pile of shit in the middle of this interview I mean it doesn't surprise me Mike has been defending Logan Paul way back to the crypto zoo thing so this is no real shock one more thing i wanted to touch on quick because it was interesting is toward the end of this little discussion george tells mike about how logan tried to control his new podcast and i start my own show do you know what my final straw was what i got uh my show going and then not only was i controlled and pushed around on impulsive but then logan's making calls and directing my show and I'm saying, hey, man, you can't tell me what to do on my own show. That's not okay. What was that about? He told me that I couldn't take Celsius. And then I said, hey, he man. He didn't tell you that you couldn't I take Celsius. Messages. No, he didn't tell you that you couldn't take Celsius. He told. He says, if is, I take Celsius, I'm not a part of Impulsive. Then he told you that if you take Celsius, that you cannot continue to be on Impulsive, which is the, the core driver for Prime, as you're going to continue to funnel viewership from the impulsive show back to your show which promotes a competitive product and when george finally does get up and walk off the impulsive podcast it doesn't even seem like logan cares it seems like he's annoyed and mike kind of even talks about this it seems like they're both annoyed because they have to do pr and make sure everything's okay and no one's going to be mad at them or blame them for george which is crazy because logan covered it up and disguised it as like the whole world thought like i thought that george was just a comedian that couldn't take the jokes of bobby lee there are certain
He, he is clocked out. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know, I know. George has been under a tremendous me, amount of abuse. No, no, George, George, George. No, no, stop, George. I want you over here with me. George, I want you over here with me. Chase him down. Go. You find him. George, no, go get him. Go get him. He, I try. I said this. he walked, and that's a first, and now we're going to have to deal with the fallout Mike, Mike, of this Mike, episode for the Logan, next two Mike, let me fucking ask you months. Something. I swear to God, Bobby Lee, you fucking pissed off my co-host. He's probably crying in the driveway. I know. I'm saying is, is that um, we need him. That attitude right there was just unprofessional. It was a bit it unprofessional. Was, it was unprofessional. Yeah, it was. Listen, I'm a guest, right? <laughs> I feel, like I feel hurt and abandoned. I know. I, me I too. feel rejected. Me too. And this was fucked up, bro. All right. So if he doesn't come, because I got to go now. When in reality, this could just be Logan covering up that somebody was quite literally assaulted in his employee team and he did nothing about it. And not only that, did he hide evidence about it? Can I say that I'm at all surprised? No. Do I think Mike and Logan have done a lot worse and I can't wait for that to be uncovered so I can cover it on my channel? Absolutely.